My name is Dan Garcia. I'm the president of CW Matthews Contracting. Been fortunate to be with CW Matthews for seven years, and I've been in the industry now for 24 years. Uh, I've been married uh, for 22 years uh, to my wife Debbie, and we have uh, five children, four girls, and one boy. My favorite thing to do is is really just spend time with family, also with with my extended family. I'm I'm the youngest of five. Uh, uh, so we have a, a really big family, so gatherings with them is, is just a, an awesome time. But uh, those that know me also know that I love anything sports related. So uh, attending uh, college football games or uh, Atlanta Braves games, anything related to sports, whether my, with my family or uh, with friends is something that, uh, that I really enjoy. So I met Deb uh, in Charleston. Uh, I had just recently graduated uh, myself from college from the Citadel in Charleston, South Carolina, and I was uh, getting ready actually to go to a job interview for, uh, for a construction job, what would then lead me into this industry until 1998 when, uh, when we got married and uh, moved to Greenville, South Carolina. My first job, I bussed tables at restaurants, did the whole um, restaurant bussing tables, bars cleaning bathrooms and taking out trash. My college degree is uh, a bachelor's in civil engineering. Later on in life, I, I went back to school to get my master's in business administration uh, at Mercer University. You know, I've been blessed uh, in so many ways. I had awesome parents, grew up in a loving home, uh, again, youngest of five, so just had a good good family atmosphere. I uh, moved to the U.S. when I was 17 years old, and my mom was American, my dad was born in Spain. To live in this country is just such a blessing. Some people might not know, although I don't have that southern accent, so they can probably tell, but they, pr they might not know that I was born uh, in Caracas, Venezuela, you know, like I said, I grew up there uh, till the age of 17, till I finished high school before I, I moved to the U.S. What's really the highlight for me is just the experience of going out and being with, with the crews. I, it's something I love and enjoy. Nothing excites me more than seeing one of our foremen get moved into a superintendent role or one of our operators into a foreman position. I think to me, that's the thing I, I love the most about our company. It's just uh, the quality of the individuals that are part of CW Matthews and seeing them, again, uh, move up the company is, is something that gives me a lot of pleasure. There's so many qualities that are important or so many attributes, but if you don't have a positive attitude, if you don't have a good attitude, then it really doesn't matter what knowledge you may have or background you may have or or how long you've been in this industry. I think the number one thing you need to have to be successful is, is a good attitude, a positive attitude. If you're gonna be a leader in this industry, you gotta have the right attitude. It kinda goes hand in hand with a lot of other things, right? Like passion and, and dedication, but, but you can't have those unless you have the right attitude. So it's what will drive people uh, to advance. It's what will destroy a company. 90% of, of what I feel is uh, takes uh, to be successful is attitude. Uh, the rest of it, yes, knowledge and, and all these other items that might be more technical. But again, if you don't have uh, a great attitude, you're, you're most likely not going to succeed. Whether, again, whether that's in your family, in your church, and in any other industry, but without a doubt in what we do each and every day. A good attitude is contagious. When you see somebody with a good attitude, I mean, I wanna hang out and, and work side by side and, and relate to people that have a great attitude. They're kind of like a magnet. They bring people closer to them uh, because, you know, it's just a leadership trait. It's, it's somebody that you wanna hang out with as a friend or as a family member. So attitude is really everything. We all have seen crews, you know, that have a good attitude, a positive, they're there on time, they're prepared, uh, they're looking always for the next challenge, they're the ones raising their hand, ready to volunteer for the, for the difficult project or for the task that nobody else wants to do. That's, that's what I see in somebody that's gonna succeed, the attitude of, hey, I'm here to help, I'm here to do whatever it takes uh, to move the team forward. A great attitude is also 
the person that puts their arm around uh, their peer and encourages them when they're going through a difficult time at home uh, or maybe at work. A good attitude is important at all levels of the organization. So I've seen some, some of our hourly um, employees just have an awesome positive attitude. A lot of times they'll, they'll approach me and tell me some story about something that's going on in their crew or, or how they're training others that have recently joined the organization and they want others to succeed. I mean, what better testimony than, than trying to make your peer better? And if you have that kind of attitude, I mean, it just it rubs on other people and makes us better. It makes us uh, the best in the industry. That doesn't mean that from time to time we don't have somebody that has a, a poor attitude or maybe doesn't buy into the culture. But I think a lot of times that's quickly seen within our teams and, and, and those people are normally weeded out on their own because they don't buy into this concept of we're in this thing together. So that doesn't mean when I talk about attitude that, that you can't have a bad day, right? We all have difficult times in our lives or something happening at home that's in our back of our mind that may distract us, but that that is normally temporary. It's not a, a trait that you exhibit all the time. Attitude can't ever be fake. People see through that. People don't want phony. And again, that have that, that thing that, that you want to have a little bit of. And, and like I said, I see it with a lot of people in our company. I'm like, you know, I want to be around this person. I want to be around this leader. And again, it's at all levels of the organization because I know that they'll make me a better person. A bad attitude is, is those that, you know, constantly looking at what's in it for me instead of what's in it for the whole organization and for the whole crew, for my whole team. A bad attitude is easily recognizable. It's the person that doesn't ever have anything nice to say, that is always complaining about something that happened to them or that somebody didn't do for them, rather than looking for ways to improve themselves, the company, the culture. I mean, there's nothing wrong with bringing up concerns. The attitude or bad attitude is the people that uh, bring problems but never solutions. I think the, the most common mistake I see when it relates to attitude is probably the person is not able to look in the mirror and see maybe their own faults, right? I mean, at times we're all guilty of that, myself included. Sometimes you gotta look in the mirror and to see, hey, maybe it's me, you know, maybe I need to change my ways. If I see one common trait of, of those that don't have the right attitude or don't succeed, a lot of times is uh, they're not willing to, to listen or hear others get advice from those that maybe have will have worked longer than, than we have in the industry. My uh, advice would be is listen, learn uh, from others that, that have done this before. But again, at the same time, surround yourself with people that, that want to strive to be better every day, that are not satisfied with just being average. I want to surround myself with people that, that challenge me to be a better person a better worker, a better father, a better husband. Those are the people that, that I love hanging around with. I don't want to hang around people that just say, yes, yes, I agree with you. You know, your ideas are the best ideas because I know they're not. So I want to surround myself with those that are encouraging of others, but at the same time, they challenge me to be better every day.